Welcome to another episode of Going to Fucking Work with Sean at the San Francisco Bar Pilots. The San Francisco Bar Pilot office is located at Pier 9 in San Francisco, duh. And if you missed the first episode, I'll fucking fill you in. I'm one of five dispatchers that work in this office here. One motherfucker coordinating all ship movements over 750 gross tons here on the bay. Four days on, four days off. 12-hour shifts, no breaks. And so this desk is occupied non-stop 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Unless we have to fill up our coffee or take a shit. I suppose we could get a caffeine IV in a shit bucket like old school tow butters did, but no one wants to smell that. Anyway, founded in 1850 by California's first legislator, the San Francisco Bar Pilots have been on the front lines of protecting Northern California's pristine waters since the fucking gold rush. Pretty fucking old school. We still write on paper and shit and talk to ships via radio. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm eating a fucking hamburger, I don't necessarily think about cows. And when I'm eating a hot dog, I sure as fuck don't think about lips and buttholes. And I suspect it's likely that when you're standing in the checkout line at Walmart staring at someone's butt crack in front of you, or buying way more toilet paper than your ass could ever handle whilst at Costco, or eating rice or sugar, or putting up drywall, getting fucking gas at fucking etc., you probably don't think, I wonder how this shit got here. And you probably don't fucking know, because the supply chain is a vast and complicated thing. I don't even fucking fully realize the scope of it, nor do I want to, but unless somebody invents teleportation, then shipping will remain a huge part of it, and the part we play is to safely and efficiently move what are basically pregnant fucking skyscrapers floating around on their sides, in and out of here, so that that shit you order online will show up, and so you can put gas in your car, and so forth. Now, 12 hours is a long fucking shift, so I use a stand-up desk, and I take my damn shoes off, and if someone says, oh, I see you're barefoot, I say, you're fucking lucky I wear pants in here. All right, well, let's get the fuck outside for a minute, and I'll show you some shit. And uh, here we've got uh, Angel Island right there, and we got Richmond, and uh, Treasure Island, Bay Bridge, and a Grumpy Fuck. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go take a look at the station boats, shall we? We have three offshore boats, one of which is always 12 miles outside the Golden Gate Bridge to put pilots on inbound ships and take them off the fucking outbounders. If we didn't do that, all our pilots would end up in Asia, Canada, Mexico, where fucking ever, and I guess we'd run out of pilots, and I'd just stay home, I suppose. Mm, that doesn't sound too bad, actually, but... No, because then you wouldn't get your shit, and we do like our shit, don't we? Good thing we're so damn dedicated. Well, no doubt someone's trying to fucking call me by now, so let's tour our way back in. And, uh, as you can see here, it's an old maritime tradition to have a fucking plethora of face whiskers and, uh, an ability to glare. It's called RMF, Resting Maritime Face. And, uh, like, look at this winning smile here. And, uh, not much from the original pilot office survived the 1906 earthquake, but this haunted mirror did. If you stare at it long enough, you'll see a hideous ghoul. Oh, wait, that's just me. Hi. Fun fact, when I worked nights, I used to hear fucking footsteps and whistling in this hallway, but no one else was in the damn building. Or maybe I'm fucking crazy. You don't have to be crazy to be a dispatcher. We train you. (laughs) Sure enough, the fucking phone was ringing. What? I was just taking a shit. Just kidding, that was my wifey poo. She really doesn't want to hear about my bowel movements, so... Alright, anyway, here's the deal. This is us, Pier 9. Uh, That's the Bay Bridge... Golden Gate Bridge, and 12 miles out is the pilot station where we have our station boat. Now this here station boat footage is from one of our station boat captains, Adian. Thanks, Adian, because I'm stuck in this office shore side, because I'm an office bitch, so. Anyway, you can watch him running into ships all fucking day on Insta or YouTube. Just look up at C underscore weathered. So, here a pilot and his trainee are disembarking an outbound vessel, and then within their allotted work hours, dispatch will assign the pilot to an inbounder. They'll take over the safe navigation of the ship and get it wherever the fuck it's going and then uh, dispatch arranges to get the pilot back to wherever they parked at the beginning of their shift via car or run boat up and down in and out in and out sounds like industrial maritime porn doesn't it 24 7 365 days a year the members of the sailors union of the pacific are dispatching or chasing ships around to keep the supply chain rolling come hell or high water Speaking of high water, this is what a 35-footer looks like from the wheelhouse of the Pilot Boat California. So, thanks again, at sea weathered, bam, saltgasm. Alright, so anyway, generally we put a pilot on an outbound ship from Oakland, Richmond, wherever. They take it out to sea and get off on the pilot boat as you saw, and then get on another one and take it wherever the fuck. That's the simple version. 
Now there are 160 miles of navigable waterways in the bay. And uh, we go all the way down to Redwood City, uh, Benicia, Martinez, Antioch, Pittsburgh, and all the way to fucking Stockton and Sacramento. Now, dispatchers in general, be it emergency services or transportation, always face head-on any situations, logistical or interpersonal, that are dumb enough to take them on. So, law enforcement officers, truck and taxi drivers, et fuck, etc. Don't fuck with your dispatcher. They're under a constant pressure, and although they're remarkably restrained, if uh, you're giving them shit, then they're probably fantasizing about karate chopping your damn throat to make your mouth hole stop talking. No, we wouldn't do that. Well, maybe. No, that wouldn't. I mean, probably have, No, don't worry, but... I mean, sometimes... I, oh, I'm so fucking conflicted. Anyway, uh, yeah, don't fuck with your dispatcher, because... Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everyone brings joy into the dispatch office. Some when they enter, and others when they leave. Fortunately, we have the Dispatcher's Handbook and Dispatch Rule 97F, subsection 4.2 states, explain simple things in the most complicated possible way, thus confusing the neural pathways of the dispatchee such that their hippocampus is overstimulated, causing a cascade of cortisol, causing confusion and overriding any proclivity to complain, then quickly end the conversation prior to when their brain's override capacity is engaged. See what I mean? All right, well, I don't want to bore you with office shit, and my 12-hour shift is up, so let's go take a fucking boat ride, shall we? We're going to take a ride on the run boat, pilot boat Golden Gate. It's smaller and faster than the fucking station boats and is more conducive to running around in the bay, you know, transporting pilots. So Today we've got Captain Jeff Knight and his deckhand Paul, and we're going to take Unit 44, Captain Zach Kellerman, out to Anchorage Number 9 to sail a tanker to sea. And uh, so off we fucking go. Anchorage 9 is uh, east of the Bay Bridge. It's where ships drop the hook awaiting berth or to load bunkers, a.k.a. fuel, or stores, a.k.a. groceries and shit. Now, I've known Zach over 20 years. We both worked at West Star Marine Services, a tugboat company down at Pier 50 back in the day. And we were just reminiscing about when I was still on nights here at the Bar Pilots dispatching, and he was a new pilot and was sailing a ship to sea in the middle of the night. And he called me and said, Dude, my wife's in labor. Can you get me off this fucking thing? And I said, Probably, but you gotta name the fucking kid after me if I do. And he laughed, and I said, I'm not fucking kidding. Anyway, I scrambled a pilot and had the boat swap him out on the fly before they reached the Golden Gate Bridge. It'll be 11 years in December that his daughter, Shoshana, was born. (laughs) Alright, well, it's actually a family name, so she's not really named after me. She's totally named after me. Anyway, uh, well, we're almost there. Jeff's gonna drop Captain Kellerman off on this big blue Twinkie here, the Polar Adventure. So, to lose, Zach, he'll get on board and he'll safely navigate it to sea, get off on the station boat, and then bring another one in. So the dispatcher's job is to know how long it takes for a ship to sail from point A to the pilot station, and then dispatch said pilot to an inbounder based on that time and or on-duty hour parameters. And of course, there are always fucking delays and unforeseen shit, so we have to get creative quite frequently. We set up an intricate house of cards only for it to be knocked the fuck over. Again and again, that's the job. Well, one thing that the dispatchers, boat crews, and pilots themselves have in common is that we're all pretty much behind the fucking scenes. Every day and night, dispatchers are untangling hideous logistical knots, boat crews are getting pilots on and off ships in treacherous conditions, and every pilot who's moved a ship safely just saved the damn day, environmentally speaking and from a safety standpoint. If you didn't know about the San Francisco bar pilots, then it's because we're fucking doing it right. People tend to only notice you if you fuck up. Without pilots, the bay would be fraught with disaster. Ships hitting bridges, oil in the water, running aground, et fucking cetera. Uh, San Francisco Bay is no fucking joke to move a ship through. The San Francisco bar pilots are among the most elite mariners in the world uh, that you probably have never heard of. And uh, we're just one part of the puzzle. I haven't even mentioned tugboat dispatchers and the tug crews, marine exchange, ship's agents who uh, have to get woken up by our ass in the middle of the damn night when something goes pear-shaped, stevedores, longshoremen, Coast Guard vessel traffic service that broadcasts every ship's location to every other fucking ship in the bay. The list goes on. Well, anyway... 
When I'm in nature, I like to be aware of the ecosystem and how things are connected. And so the next time you're at Costco or getting gas or whatever the fuck and you wonder how all this shit works, now you've seen one tiny cog in a vast human-made sort of ecosystem. If you give a shit, that is. And by the way, this is not an official or endorsed San Francisco Bar Pilot video. Nothing I've said or the way I've said it is a reflection on them. This video is exactly what I said at the beginning. Going to fucking work with Sean. But they don't call it Sailor's Mouth for fucking nothing. So thanks for the ride, Jeff. Off he goes and off I go upstairs to my little coffin to go horizontal and do it all again tomorrow. Toodaloo.